Guys, alam mo pang pwede ka makapag-live? Kahit zero subscribers, walang laptop, basta may cellphone at internet lang, tuturuan kita. Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So again, it's Pearl! May sekreto na naman po ako ibabahagi sa inyo. Kasi nga po, nagtutulungan tayo dito para maparami yung subscribe. Ugh. Bad word yun, bad word. <laughs> so, nagtutulungan po tayo dito para umunlad yung YouTube channel natin. At isa sa mga paraan doon ay ang mag-livestream. Pero kadalasan po sa atin sinasabi na nakakapag-livestream lang daw tayo pag 1,000 subscribers or gamit yung laptop natin. But no, no, no. May way po dyan. So guys, do you know na makakapag-livestream tayo kahit zero subscribers at kahit phone lang meron tayo, walang laptop? So guys, heto na. Sorry, medyo dump yung hair ko kasi kanilang ko lang. So, um, we can actually use our Android phone or iPhone pag nagla-livestream tayo. So, for now, ang gagawin natin is magla-livestream tayo or I am gonna show you the live streaming using our Android phone. Kasi nga, medyo may kaibahan yung dalawa eh. Pag ginamit mo iPhone at pag ginamit mo Android phone. So, for today, Android muna tayo, okay? So, again, before anything else, since gagamit tayo ng cell phone in live streaming, then that means we will be using an application. So, the application we'll be using now is... Chan -ta -da -da, Streamlabs. So, download na po tayo ng Streamlabs para po may guide ko kayo kung paano po ito gamitin at ano po yung makikita nyo doon. So, eto na! Okay, so guys, yung nakikita nyo sa screen, yung parang nerd na naka-green, yan yung Streamlabs. So, yan yung makikita natin pag-open natin sa application. So, meron doon login with Twitch and login with YouTube. So, since we'll do live stream using YouTube, then punta tayo sa login with YouTube. Yan, click ng yan. Okay. So, the same thing, guys. Para ka lang naglalagay ng Facebook. So, hihingi ito ng ano, email address mo na gamit sa YouTube mo. So, lagay ko lang yung email address ko. But then, hindi nyo dapat makita. Tcharara! Ayan. Ayan. So, again, we just need to wait till it loads up. Alright. So, we're here the first phase, guys, of the application. So, you need to actually select the widget. So we have different available widgets on your screen. The alert box, the event list, the chat box, the jar, the donation ticker, and the donation goal. So yung gagamitin natin ngayon is yung alert box, event list, at saka yung chat box. So i-click mo lang yan. That should be tick. And then just press next. Yun. And then, of course, we'll do live stream. So, we need to enable the camera and the microphone. Kaya, click lang po ng enable camera and microphone. So, allow. And then, allow again. And then, allow again. So, guys, ito na po yung screen ng Streamlabs. So, dito po, um, ang ituturo ko lang po is yung mga basic lang po na magagamit natin when we do live stream. So, on your screen right now, parang may three lines. So, that is actually the settings. So, pindot ko lang yung settings, ha? So, yan po yung settings natin. You have the option to live. We have the orientation, the editor, the alert profiles, remote control, settings, FAQ, and the support. So, so dito po tayo nakakapag-customize po ng ano pong mangyayari sa live natin. So, may orientation po dyan, may editor, may alert profiles, may remote control settings, FAQ, and the support. So, if you wanted to go live right away without doing anything, gusto mo lang talaga simple, then you can just click on live. So, that's actually the red portion on the right corner. Sorry, put on. So, if you wanted to just make it simple and then just go live right away, then you can just click this red button in... Yeah. You can just click the red button, that one, ito po, okay. That one po, for you to go live right away. But then, if you wanted to do parang mga drama po sa live stream nyo, and then we can go to editor. So, ito po yung editor. Ito po, point ko siya. Yun. Okay, yan po. Click ko na ha. Okay. Alright. So, when you click on editor, that's what you will see. You have the alert box and the chat box and also the event list. So, one good thing about this is you can actually arrange it to your preference. So, if you wanted to put it here, you can also put that. Or kung gusto mong... Di makita yung mukha mo, then you can also do it that way. 
But then, of course, we wanted to show our face. Kaya po, ganyan. At saka, so, the usage of these boxes here is that when you do live stream, may mga magcha-chat po. So, if you have this chat box available for your live stream, then that means that you can see those people who actually joined your chat and then mga chats din nila, makikita mo. Kaya nga chat box. At yung mga alert box, maganda po ito. Na, na motivate po kayo na galingan yung live stream nyo. Kasi through alert box, you will be notified there na may nag-subscribe sa channel nyo while you are on live stream. So, if you wanted to be updated with your current, you know, current status of your channel, then you can also have the alert box available for your live stream. If it's too big for you, then you can also make it smaller. So, you just need to hold and drag. That, just like what I'm doing right now. And also, just hold and then drag for the chat box. There. And then you can also arrange it again on your preference. If you wanted to put it here, then you can just put it here. And then just put it this one. That's it. Napaka simple lang po. So when you do live stream, then nakikita niyo nyo. So when you do live stream, then you will see sino yung nagcha-chat or sino yung nagsusubscribe po while you are on live stream. Galing po, no? So, there's one more thing. Paano kung gusto mo makita ilan na yung viewers mo? May widget po tayo dyan. So, if you wanted to know how many viewers you have on your live stream, then you can also click that. Yung parang may arrow po sa may... Uh, there, there. Uh, ano ba yun? Ayun. Yan po. Oh. So, just have to click on that. There. And then, my plus portion po, ibig sabihin po, there's something that we can add on the live stream. So, just click on the plus, or this one, there. So, you have three options. You can add widget, another widget. You can add text, or you can add image. So, click nyo lang po yung add widget. Okay. And then, just click on the Streamlabs widget. Ayun, so we have different options, but then since what we are after, uh, what we are after is to view the count or the, to view the viewers, then we just need to choose the viewer count. Ayun, so yun na po yung viewer count. If it's too big for you, na natatabunan na po yung face niyo, then you can have it smaller, but just hold and drag like that. Okay, all right. So, through that po, parang kompleto na po yung live stream natin. We have the viewer count of how many viewers we have on the live stream. We also have the chat box. So, we will be notified who actually chatted us during the live stream. And we have the alert box. Whoever subscribed our channel during the live stream. So, earlier nakita nyo, we can add another thing. You can add a picture. You can even add um, a text. So, if you wanted to, again, add a picture, maybe a subscribe button, then you can do that. Let's try it now. So, the same thing, just click on the arrow there, the plus portion, and then the add image. I have an image available already. Okay, and then just go to device since I have it downloaded before this live stream. Let's just wait. Alright, so I have it here. Okay. Okay, so my subscribe button up ako. So, again, you can also... Have it smaller, just hold and drag, and you can put it here. Or if you wanted to really if you wanted to really emphasize that you wanted to you wanted the people to subscribe on your channel, then you can have it bigger. Yun, yun na. Tabo naman na yung mukha mo. <laughs> Joke up. Okay. Then that's it. You can just put it here. Okay, so so aside from uh, aside from the subscribe button, you can also add even the logo of your channel or even another picture of you. Just be creative on what you think will work on your live stream. Yun po yun. So after, after all the changes that we've made on the live stream, for it to be saved, then kailangan mo lang po i-check yan. Ito po, ito. Yun na yun. Check po natin yan. Alright. So we have it enabled at tapos na po siya na-save. So safe na po tayo doon. Okay. So, we're done with the initial phase of our live stream. So, we go on to, more, to a more technical one. And that's the settings of our live stream. In doing live stream, we need to consider our internet speed. So, para hindi naglalag or para naman maganda yung resolution ng output natin. So, what we need to do about that is just to go to settings. The same thing. 
here and you have there the option settings just click on that okay so that's what you will see guys we have the streaming platform the youtube settings so since we are streaming through youtube then just make sure that the streaming platform is set to youtube all right so it's already set so just click on okay and then after that we go to we go to the broadcast settings so that is where we can actually check the orientation and the resolution of our live stream so let's first go to the output resolution so we have different options so guys if you have a very good connection then you can actually choose 1080p but then if your connection is just you know good then we can just choose 720p but i don't recommend that we use 480 or the 360 kasi hindi masyadong maganda yung output niya so for this one, we'll just use the 720p. So again, you can choose anything here. You can have it 480. If you wanted to have it for 720, then just choose 720p. There, you have it. And the another option. And then let's go to the max video bitrate. So these are the bitrates available for our live stream. So if you have, again, a very good connection, then you can choose the maximum bitrate that we have here. But for me, in my case, I only choose 1,000 kbps. So that's kilobyte per second, and that's already good enough. So let's just use 1,000 kbps. So we're done with the settings. We're done with how our live stream will work. Then let's go back. So, if you wanted to go after everything is okay, everything is polished, and everything is already good for you to go on live stream, then just click on that red, parang Wi-Fi signal. Oh, ayun. So, that is actually the live stream button. If you click on that, then you will go on live stream right away. And your video will be, well, and your video will be available for, you know, for viewing. For public viewing. So when, once we click that, then that will go live stream. At hindi ko po i-click yan kasi hindi po ito live stream. Ito po isang tutorial. <laughs> Yun po. So guys, that's the complete steps on how you can do live streaming even if you have zero subscribers, walang laptop. So again, just download Streamlabs, just follow the instructions I've told you, just make sure that everything is ready and polished para po marami manood sa live stream natin. I hope I was able to help you in, you know, um, making your channel grow, making our channel grow. So if you have some more questions about this tutorial on how to do live stream, then I have my comment uh, I have my comment box below available for you. Just comment down below what are your questions or what are your recommendations if there are some, and then I'll get back on you. So that would be all for today's video. Again, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and please turn on the notification bell para naman updated kayo sa mga bagong videos ko. Again, that would be all for today. See you again in my next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.